Lesson 26 of The Esperanto Teacher This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher A Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer Lesson 26 the following words, which have already been used in the previous lessons, are always placed before nouns or pronouns, to show the relation, of position, etc., between the thing for which the noun stands, and another thing, or an action. Al, to, towards, apud, beside, near, by, da, of, indefinite quantity, de, of, from, by, L, out of, N, in, into, within, exter, outside, gis, until, till, as far as, inter, between, among, contrao, against, opposite, kun, in company with, lau, according to, per, by means of, with, post, after, behind, pri, concerning, about, por, for, for the sake of, sen, without, super, above or over, sur, on or upon, tra, through, trans, across, on the other side, ye, has no definite meaning. These words are called prepositions, which means placed before. The other simple prepositions are anstatau, instead of, antau, before, che, at or with, circau, about or around, crom, besides, except, malgrau, notwithstanding, in spite of, po, at the rate of, pro, for, as in a cause, or owing to, preter, past, beyond, by, spite, in despite of, sub, under. The prepositions anstatau, antau, all, and por, are also used before infinitive verbs, as anstatau diri, instead of saying, antau ol paroli, before speaking, por lerni, in order to learn. In Esperanto, all the prepositions except ye have a definite meaning, and care must be taken to use the one which conveys the exact sense. The same word cannot be used for with in the two sentences, he went with his father, and he cut it with a knife, or for about in he spoke about his child, and they stood about the stove. In the first example, with, as in with his father, is kun, in company with, li iris kun sia patro, and with, a knife, is per, by means of, li tranchis gin per tranchilo. About, in, about his child, is pri, concerning, li parolis pri sia infano, but about, in, about the stove, is circao, around. Ilistaris circao la forno. When we cannot decide which is the correct preposition to use in any case, we may use ye, the only preposition which has no special meaning of its own, or the preposition may be left out altogether, and n added to the noun or pronoun, provided that no want of clearness ensues. See lesson twenty seven. As miridas pro lia naivezzo, or mi ridas ye lia naivezzo, or mi ridas lian naivezzon. I laugh at his simplicity. When we wish to express motion towards something, and the preposition does not of itself express it, n is added to the noun or pronoun, as in the case of adverbs. See or listen to lesson twelve. Li estas en la domo. He is in the house. But li iras en la domon, he is going into the house. Note, there are three cases in which the noun or pronoun takes n. 
one, when it is the direct object of the verb, as mi vidis lin, I saw him, two, to show direction, as li iris en la jardenon, he went into the garden, three, when the preposition is left out. This is usually done in the case of dates and expressions signifying duration of time, as Georgo Washington estis nascita la dudec duan de februaro de la jaro mil sepsent tridec du. George Washington was born the 22nd of February, 1732. Vi restos tie ci la tutan vivon, dum la tuta vivo. You will remain here the whole of your life. All the prepositions whose meaning allows of it can be used as adjectives, adverbs, etc., by adding the proper endings, as from antau, before, we get antawa, former, antawe, formerly or previously, and antawen, forward. Prepositions are also joined to other words and to prefixes or suffixes, as antaudiri, to foretell, Apudmara urbo, a seaside town, senigi, to deprive of. Sometimes the preposition is both prefixed to the verb and used after it before the noun, as li eliris el la domo kai eniris en la jardenon. He went out of the house and entered into the garden. End of lesson twenty six. Lesson 27 of The Esperanto Teacher This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org The Esperanto Teacher A Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer Lesson 27 Al Al signifies to or towards a person or place. It is also used before the noun or pronoun which signifies person, after such verbs as give, tell, etc., which take two objects in different relations to the verb, as give him or give to him the book, dono ali la libron, tell him or tell to him the truth, diru ali la veron, write or write to him, a letter, scribo ali letteron. In such cases we can say pardonulin, pardon him, if the thing or the object is not mentioned, but we cannot say pardonulin la culpon, forgive him his fault. It must be pardonu ali la culpon. The pronoun with al is sometimes used instead of the possessive pronoun adjective mia, etc., as mi tranchis al mi la fingron, for mi tranchis mi an fingron, I cut my finger. Si combis al si la haroin, instead of si combis si ein haroin, she combed her hair. Al is frequently used as a prefix as well as after the verb, as al doni, to add, al preni, adopt, al ligi, to adhere, al nugi, to award. Vocabulary Sorcisto, sorcerer Sorcisto De tranche, cut off De tranche Promes, promise Promes Ambao, both Ambao She revenis alla palazzo de sia patro She returned to her father's palace Ili ambao iris alla urbestro they both went to the mayor. Chu mi ne faris al vi bonon? Did I not do you good? She ne neon al ili racontis. She told them nothing. She scribis al li letteron. She wrote him a letter. Chiutage li instruas al la homoi ion kion ili ne scias. Every day he teaches the people something which they do not know. Illi flugis alla suno. They flew towards the sun. Uno fratino promesis alla alia raconti al she kion she vidis kai kio la play multe placis al she en la unua tago. 
one sister promised the other to tell her what she saw and what most pleased her the first day. Eble li al vi pardonos. Perhaps he will forgive you. She ne credis al siai proprai orelloi. She did not believe her own ears. Li ne sciis ke al si li devas danki la vivon. He did not know that he had to thank her for his life. Si savis al li la vivon. She saved his life. La sorcistino de tranchis al la virinetto de maro la langon. The witch cut off the tongue of the mermaid. End of lesson 27「Of the Esperanto Teacher. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non grammarians, by Helen Fryer. Lesson 28 Che and Apud. Che indicates a certain place, time, or point of thought, discourse, etc., as li estis che mia patro, he was with my father, or at my father's house, che la momento, at the moment, li estis che la pordo, he was at the door, ci esti, to be present. Apud means close by or beside, it applies to place only, as la knabo staris apud la patro, the boy stood by or beside the father. Vocabulary. Fundo, bottom, fundo. Braco, arm, braco. Torcio, torch, torcio. Serpento, serpent, serpento. Statuo, statue, statuo. Salico, willow, salico. Halt, stop, halt, halt. Ramp, creep, crawl, ramp. Plant, to plant, plant. Multecosta, precious, valuable. Multecosta, au, au, either, or. Au, au. Milogis che shia patro. I lived with her father. Ci falis sulla fundon de la maro che la rompigio de la shippo. It fell to the bottom of the sea on the breaking up of the ship. Celumo de torcioi, by the light of torches. Braco ce braco, arm in arm. Captis lin celcatimo ce la penso. There seized him some fear at the thought. Nenio helpas, oni devas nur curage resti ce sia opinio. Nothing helps, one must only bravely remain of one's own opinion. Shiridis che lia raccontado. She laughed at his recital. Che ciu vorto ciun vidiros el via buscio e liros au floro au multe costa stono. At every word which you speak, out of your mouth will come either a flower or a precious stone. Li hautis apud la porto. He stopped near the door. La serpento rampis apud shiai piedoi. The serpent crawled about her feet. Ciam li estis ciemi, li staris tutan horon apud la fenestro. When he was with me, he stood a whole hour by the window. Mi logis en arbo apud via domo. I lived in a tree near your house. She plantis apud la statuo rosa rujan salicon. She planted near the statue a rose red willow. La apud voyai arboi. The wayside trees. End of lesson 28. 29 of The Esperanto Teacher. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. 
For further information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non-grammarians, by Helen Fryer. Lesson 29. N. N means in, inside. When, however, the letter N is added to the noun which it precedes, it means into, as, Kia vi estas? Mi estas en la domo. Kien vi iras? Mi iras en la jardenon. Where are you? I'm in the house. Where are you going? I'm going into the garden. Malamico venis en nian landon. An enemy came into our country. Vocabulary. Hispanuyo, Spain, Hispanuyo. Humoro, humor, temper, humoro. Pazzo, peace, pazzo. Pinglo, pinglo, pin, pinglo. Nascotago, birthday, nascotago. Faruno, flower, faruno. Parto, part, parto. Muel, to grind, muel. Turn, to turn. Turn, divide, divide, divide. Do, then, do. Juste, exactly, just, juste. Quasau, as if, quasau. La birdo flugas en la chambro. Ci estas en la chambro, cae flugas en gi. The bird flies in the room. The bird is in the room, and it flies about in it. La birdo flugas en la chambron. Ci estas exter la chambro, cae flugas nun en gin. The bird flies into the room. It is outside the room, and now flies into it. Mi voyajas en hispanuyo. I'm travelling in Spain. Mi voyajas en hispanuyon. I am travelling to Spain. Qui do fari en tia ocaso? What is there to do in such a case? Mi estas en bono humoro. I'm in good humour. Li murmuretis a la regino en la orelon. He whispered to the queen in the ear. En sequo de tiuci ocaso. In consequence of this occurrence. Mi preferus resti en pacho tiaci. I would prefer to stay here in peace. She en ascotago estis justi en la mezo de vintro. Her birthday was exactly in the middle of winter. Li ecrigardis en la oculoin de la infano. He glanced into the child's eyes. Li estis bella granda viro en la agio de quardec jaroi. He was a tall, handsome man of the age of forty years. En la dauro de mia tuta vivo. In the whole of my life. En la fino de la yaro. At the end of the year. Mano en mano. Hand in hand. En irinte en la vagonon. She sidis quasau sur pingloi. Entering the carriage, she sat as if on pins. La greno muelijas en farunon. Corn is ground into flour. Alexandro turnigis en polvon. Alexander turned into dust. Li dividis la pomon en du partoin. He divided the apple into two parts. End of lesson 29the Esperanto Teacher. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher. A simple course for non-grammarians by Helen Fryer. Lesson 30. Inter, exter and el. Inter means between, among, or amongst. It is largely used as a prefix, as inter paroli, to converse, inter nazia, international, inter consento, agreement, sin intermeti, 
to interfere. Exter means out of, outside, as exter dangero, out of danger. It is used as a prefix as exter ordinara, extraordinary. L means out of. It applies one to place, signifying motion from, as mi eliris el la domo, I went out of the house. Two, chosen from among, as uno el miai infanoi, one of, from among my children. Three, made out of, as in tiuci stofo estas farita el lano. This cloth is made out of wool. L is used as a prefix, and means out, outright, or thoroughly, as el fossi, to dig out, el lerni, to learn thoroughly. Vocabulary. Colono, column, pillar. Colono. Marmoro, marble. Marmoro. Figuro, figure, figuro. Muro, wall, muro. Canapo, sofa, canapo. Arto, art, arto. Vivezzo, liveliness, vivezzo. Crono, crown, crono. Uso, use, uso. Ocaso, occasion, ocaso. Alfabeto, alphabet, alfabeto. Divid, to divide something, divid. Product, to produce, product. Interne, inside, interne. Inter rosuyo kai franzuyo estas germanuyo. Between Russia and France is Germany. Ili dividis inter si dectu pomoin. They divided among them twelve apples. Inter la deca kai deconua horo matene. Between ten and eleven o'clock in the morning. Inter la colonoi staris marmorai figuroi. Between the pillars stood marble figures. Apud la muro inter la fenestroi staris canapo. Near the wall between the windows stood a sofa. Longe eli parolis intersi. They talked long among themselves. Certiuci malsano uno horo povas decidi inter vivo cae morto. In this disease an hour may decide between life and death. En la intertempo inter la paroloi ani productas artain fairoin. In the interval between the speeches they set off fireworks. Mistaras exter la domo, cae li estas interne. I am standing outside the house and he is inside. Li estas exter la porto. He is outside the door. Nun ni estas exter dangero. Now we are out of danger. Li logas exter la urbo. He lives outside town. Starante exterre li povis vidi nur la exteran flancon de nia domo. Standing outside, he could only see the outer side of our house. Li montris exteren en la malumon. He pointed outside into the darkness. Milasis len exterre. I left him outside. La extero de tiuci homo estas pli bona o lia interno. This man is better outwardly than within. Li eliris el la urbo. He went out of the town. Li estas jus reveninta el la exterlando. He has just returned from foreign parts. Con exter ordinara vivezzo, si el saltis el la vagono. With extraordinary vivacity, she jumped out of the carriage. She metis al she cronon el blancai lilioi sur la haroin. She put a crown of white lilies on her head. Li faris uzon el la ocaso. He made use of the opportunity. Tiuci nestoi estas faratai tute el tero. These nests are made wholly of earth. She estis la plei curagia el ciui. She was the bravest of all. 
Yen viel kreskis. Now you have grown up. Li eliris el la dormo chambro, kai eniris en la manjo chambron. He went out of the bedroom and entered the dining room. La esperanta alfabeto consistas el dudec oc literoi. The Esperanto alphabet consists of 28 letters. End of Lesson 30